Hello and welcome to Dialog Grave Editor something. Good. So we're going to look at how to save stuff today. So let's actually make that script now. So we of course going to make a dialog save and load. Probably not the best name for it, but it is a name. All right. So this script is not a mono behavior. Just delete it all. Go let's pin it. And I also found out a small thing we need to change in. Uh, I think it was like base notes. Let's just go all the way up and go into base note. So when you're inside base note, you need to change this from protection protected to public. So let's just say that. Again, inside base node, and you need to change uh, the node gun to public instead of protected, uh, the property. All right, so now that we have fixed that, we will go back here, and we will now need to uh, you know, do the saving stuff. First, we need a reference to our dialog graph view. Dialog graph view, let's just call it graph view. And we will then make a constructor for our graph view. So our save and load. Let's just make our fine constructor. And that is of course going to take in a dialog graph view. We're gonna make a fine underscore here. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Alright, so we are going to make graph view equals underscore graph view. So when we make it, we also save its data. Wonderful. So next up, we need to give it a reference to all the edges and um, notes in it. So we're gonna go say edge and make the reference. And again, the reference I added was uh, Unity Engine Experiment. I can't pronounce that correctly. And graph view. So. We need just the uh, edges. And here we are going to use a specific uh, C sharp um, what's called function where we uh, will do the equals uh, crocodile mouth thingy. And then we'll go graph view dot edges dot to list. So, what exactly does this do? Well, this actually does so whenever you call this. We're actually telling it to go into graph view and find all the edges. Meaning it is a list that will always update to go into and uh, a look through the edges in graph view instead of. So we are kind of making uh, a link connection. This means whenever we update the graph view edges, we automatically also update this one here, which is pretty, pretty practical. We of course also need one for our nodes. So we are gonna say base node, and that is just going to be nodes. And gonna go graph view dot nodes dot to list. Of course, you probably already noticed that this actually returns them as nodes and not as base nodes. So we of course need to tell it that we want only want the the base notes so we are also going to use the using system dot like 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 out I can't pronounce that correctly sorry so we want it to only return notes the note that is a base note meaning it will go through all the notes and only return the base notes to this list we still haven't c converted it to actually notes, so let's cast it by c cast by uh, by casting it. You are converting it, or telling it that it is a base node, and we of course uh, want that to return as a list. So let's just go over what we did here. First, we're doing the same thing here. We're telling it whenever we call this, we want to actually call uh, graph your notes. 
and then we make it into a list, and then we go through that list and tells it that we only want the, the nodes that is actually a base node, after which we're telling it we also want it to return as a base node, but we also want it to re return it as a list. So we are returning all the nodes, that is base nodes, as, no as base nodes in a list. <laughs> I hope that makes sense at least. All right, so next up we're gonna make the publics, which is pretty much just save. And public right load. And those of course going to contain the dialog container uh, scriptable object. And we're just gonna plug that in here as well. Here we go. And we of course need one to load as well, so it knows what to load. So let's start making the save one here, right under. Let me quickly look at my notes. So we are going to make uh, the ones for saving all the edges in the beginning. Let's just go right, save edges. There we go. And that is of course also going to uh, to get the content, the dialog contenter, so it knows where to save them. Uh, before we do that, we are of course also going to say that all the node node links are going to be cleared. Meaning that if you are, when we are saving, we are deleting all the old saves before we're actually saving it. But now we actually need all the edges, so we're gonna make a final array. And um, to make sure that we don't get any error edges when we are saving, we only want the connecting, the connected edges. So we're gonna go connected. Oh, yeah, connect. Oh. Connected, uh, connected edges equals uh, da, 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 da. backwards below it edges dot where the edge where the edge of course uh, has an input. I was just gonna say note. So if it has so, if it has a, a node, a node input, it means it is connected. And we're just gonna go to array, that's because we want it to return as an array. So, we are looking through all the edges, and if they have uh, an input, uh, if they have an input node, then we're going to uh, go through them. Of course, if they have an input node, they also have an output node, so we don't need to check it, but in theory, we should also check it the output, but we know when they have the input, they also have output, so we don't need to do that. So let's go through each of the edges by going dot count. Oh, dot count. Uh, here we want to uh, actually make a base node for each of the output. Output uh, node for the output and the input. So uh, I'm going to show you two ways you can do this. So the first one is where we're just gonna cast it. Uh, so we're gonna go uh, output dot note. So by casting it we can go in front here and just go base note. So here we are telling it what it should be B. But we can also instead delete this and go as base node. So that's two ways you can do it, and it's pretty much up to you which way you prefer. So I'm just going to change those to input, so we have the output and input. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave them both um, uh, separate. Normally, you want it to look alike, so you don't want to do it like this. But um, for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going to do it so you have a kind of idea of what is going on. At least I hope. So, next up, we're of course going to say that we want to save this. So, we're going to go add uh, links and we're going to add it. 
inside in here, but um, we want it to be at as a new node link. And we of course want the brackets, so we can actually tell what's inside it. So we're actually gonna do this because I like it. So we're going to say base node equals output dirt node GUI. Oh, and remember here we need to do comma. So we're gonna go base node, target node equals input dirt node GUI. All right. So what exactly are we doing here? We are making a new node link, and we are telling it that uh, it, its uh, base node is the output node it comes from, or the nodes it comes from, and the target node is the node it goes into, so the input node. Alright, so let's save that. And uh, let's end the video from, from here, and the uh, next video we'll go into how to actually make uh, the notes. Let's have to save the notes.